hello dear video students welcome back to the channel again hope you are all doing well so last time uh, we have discussed the derivation that is angle between a radius vector and the tangent okay i hope you have remembered uh, what is the procedure over there right so today we have another important derivation which is of uh, seven marks so this is your prove that 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r raised power 4 dr by d theta whole square okay so you cannot neglect this one this is very easy derivation which you can easily solve in the examination so last time we have discussed about radius vector all about that so today uh, we have taken the same figure this is your ox initial line o is the origin 0 comma 0 and this is your radius of vector so last time we have discussed okay in the polar system this line is called the radius of vector uh, we join this p point to this origin and this is called as radius of vector this is radius of vector and this theta is the angle between initial line and this radius vector right so here is the point p in this polar system r comma theta are its coordinates these are called the polar coordinates and here we have polar curve which i will denote by r over here okay so r is your polar curve and this is your phi angle uh, with the tangent we draw the tangent line from this polar curve at point p so this is your tangent line t right so up to this we have discussed in last video also so phi is the angle you can write down theta is the angle you can write down theta is the angle angle between initial line initial line uh, and radius vector right and radius of vector so this is what theta now phi is the angle which is uh, between radius of vector and this tangent line so you can write down here phi is the angle phi is the angle between a radius vector radius of vector and tangent line right and tangent line and this r is your radius of vector r is radius of vector so this is the theoretical portion which you have to write in the examination so that uh, you will get a uh, seven marks perfectly so this is your phi uh, which is the angle between tangent and this radius of vector now let me uh, join one line over here which is perpendicular it is called as foot of the perpendicular you don't have to draw it uh, exactly 90 degrees simply you have to show on the diagram that this line is supposed to be the foot of the perpendicular right so this is your perpendicular right line i will call it as om line is your perpendicular okay so this i call it distance as p okay up to this is it clear so i can write down here om is foot of perpendicular okay now what is the procedure for this derivation over here so see here we have phi angle we have to ultimately reach uh, to this equation so what is the procedure what should be the procedure i will take here sine of phi you should also know th this one so if i am taking considering sine phi you know already uh, sine is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse i hope uh, this is the uh, uh, sorry trigonometric part you might have remembered the formulas like simply there is a trick one trick is here p b p h h b Pado by Pado. So, if you are knowing the Hindi language, so this will be better uh, trick for uh, remembering these uh, trigonometric uh, identities. So, this is Pado by Pado, he he by. Pado by Pado, he he by. So, let me tell you here what is this. This is your sign, this is your cos, this is your tan. So, sign is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. This is your cos is equal to base upon hypotenuse. So, this is your tan which is equal to perpendicular by base so these three at least you should remember it over here in this particular uh, derivation so sine is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse cos is equal to base by hypotenuse tan is equal to perpendicular by base so in order to remember i, uh, I have told you that pado by pado he he by right so here i can use this sine of phi is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse so phi is here uh, the angle uh, made with this tangent it becomes base for this particular angle okay so the opposite of this phi is called as perpendicular okay so this is your perpendicular over here and this is your hypotenuse right so this is the right angle triangle so opposite side is perpendicular and this one is hypotenuse okay so sine of phi i can write down this om line this is your perpendicular so om upon this hypotenuse is 
uh, op9 okay are you getting my point so now i will write down sine of phi is equal to what is the distance of this om this is p i am representing it as p and this op is nothing but radius of vector that is r okay i hope you are getting my point now i can write down here p is equal to r into sin of phi okay so this is nothing but cross multiplication r sin of phi so up to this it is clear now squaring on both sides you can write down here squaring on both sides we will get uh, we get this is your p square is equal to r square sin square phi okay if i will reciprocal this equation we will get uh, sorry this is your 1 upon p square is equal to 1 upon r square uh, this is your 1 by sin square phi so reciprocal of you can write down here 1 by sin square phi first sorry phi now here i will solve the rest of the uh, problem rest of the derivation so i can write down here 1 upon p square is equal to 1 upon r square into uh, reciprocal of this uh, sin, 1 by sin square phi is nothing but cos x square phi okay so you should remember this also these are the all trigonometric identities which we are using over here so this is 1 by sin square phi is equal to cos x square of sorry cos x square phi okay now 1 by p square is equal to 1 upon r square so there is the formula again in the trigonometry that is cos x square phi is equal to 1 plus cot square of phi this is the formula uh, in the trigonometry i can use this uh, equation over here so instead of cos x square phi i can write down 1 plus cot square of phi so multiplied by 1 plus cot square of phi okay i hope up to this it is clear and in the previous lecture we have discussed uh, angle between radius vector and tangent so what is the relation over there that is tan of phi is equal to r d theta by dr okay so have you remember this much so this is your cot of phi i can write down the reciprocal of tan phi the reciprocal of tan phi is cot phi instead of tan phi i can write down here cot phi reciprocal of it so i have to reciprocal this much also 1 upon r dr by d theta okay is it right now i have to use this equation over here instead of cot uh, square phi i can write down here 1 by r dr by d theta whole square so 1 upon p square is equal to 1 upon r square multiplied by 1 plus instead of cot phi what is there 1 upon r dr by d theta whole square here we have square so i am taking square so 1 upon p square is equal to 1 upon r square in sorry here is the multiplication 1 plus 1 by r we have here square right so i can write down 1 by r square it is actually 1 square 1 square is nothing but 1 so 1 square divided by r square dr by d theta we have also square for this term okay up to this is it clear now 1 upon p square is equal to 1 upon this 1 by r square into 1 how much is this 1 by r square 1 by r square into 1 is 1 by r square plus here we have plus 1 by r square into 1 by r square so it is nothing but 1 by r raised power 4 and this is your dr by d theta whole square so this was the derivation simply here 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r raised power 4 dr by d theta whole square here we have derived this 1 by p square is equal to 1 by r square plus 1 by r raised power 4 dr by d theta whole square so this is simple procedure for this particular question i hope uh, you have understood uh, this problem very well over here so you should not neglect this simple problem this is the seven marks question you can easily get these seven marks are just in your pocket okay so make sure you will share this video to all your friends who are struggling with the mathematics subject so this is all about today's class thank you so much